Welcome back. In this video, we are going to add DNS records in DigitalOcean. Log into your DigitalOcean account and click on Networking. After that, click on Domains and type your domain name. Select your droplet. After that, click Create Record. Now as can be seen that uh, few records are automatically created and zone file is created too. The first record in zone file is start of authority and after that we have three name servers and the A record. Now we are going to add few records. First of all we are going to add uh, wildcard record so that any non-existing page or subdomain or 404 page get directed to main domain. To do that, type asterisk in here and enter the IP address. Copy your IP address from here and paste it right here and click create record. Now since we are also planning to set a mail server, we need to create a record for subdomain. To do that, we need to type uh, subdomain here webmail dot and the IP address in here and click create a record. Now let's take a look at the zone file. In here we have two subdomains created, one with the wildcard and another with webmail and we have a record and the IP address. Now we will create MX record. To do that click on MX, enter hostname webmail dot, in here enter the priority, then click on create MX record. Let's once again take a look at the zone file. Now here we have MX record created for webmail dot dot com dot. Now just in case, if you want to use Gmail MX records, just click on this button and it will automatically add Gmail MX records to your droplet. Now as can be seen, along with our MX records, 5 MX records of Google have been added and each of them has different priorities. For example, this one has the first priority and after that uh, these two MX records has priority and finally we have these two records along with our record have the lowest priority. Now we'll also add the text record for sender policy framework. Click on text, enter here add symbol, in text, open the downloaded file with this lecture. and uh, copy this value and paste it right in here click create text record now as can be seen text record has been created for our domain name now this SPF text record will tell receiving mail servers that the emails originated from our mail server is legitimate for this domain name and the emails originated from anywhere else is illegitimate. Now to authorize Google Apps, we need to add SPF record for Google Apps. If you want to use both Google server and your mail server, go here once again and copy this one. Click on text in the host name. Once again enter at symbol and after that in text paste the copied content and click on create text record and also delete the old SPF record now let's say you don't want to use your own mail server for sending newsletters then go back to downloaded content once again and copy this one click on text once again Enter here at symbol and in text paste the copied content 
After that click on create text record. If we go back to our downloaded content, in here as can be seen, the only difference between these two values is that the letter A is not present in SPF record for Google Apps. After SPF record has been updated, it's time to update DKIM record. But to add DKIM record, we need to first configure host name and fully qualified domain name. We will complete the setup after installing required mail server packages. 